Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 8 through 10. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 12, 1973, in London, England. Our strength is immeasurable, and we are perfectly protected by Grandfather Bhishma, whereas the strength of the Pandavas, carefully protected by Bhima, is limited. So, Duryodhan is very proud of his strength, military strength, uh, because he was in power, he could gather, and over and above that, Bhishma is the commander-in-chief. He is giving protection. But on the other side, the Pandavas, they are not in power, somehow or other, they gathered some soldiers uh, <coughs> from relatives. Therefore, their strength was limited in consideration of the other party. And that is being protected by Bhima. Vidyadham always considered Bhima as a fool. Therefore, he is very much confident that our side is being protected by Bhishma. The other side of the Bhima is very strong, but he has no brain very much. So, he was very hopeful of victory. <coughs> but in the previous verse, he says, Annecha bahava sura madathe tapta jivika. Tapta jivita means they have come to lay down their life for me. This is a foretelling. Because actually we were joined the battlefield of Kurukshatra. None of them returned. Sapta Jivita. So it is already concluded that although Dujadhan is very much proud of his military strength, protected by Bhishma, still Sapta Jivita, they will surely die. This is the conclusion. Nana sastra prasarana sarvi yuddha visharana. No, not a single person in experience was there. Yuddha visharana. Visharana means very expert fighters. Still they would have to lay down their life. Because it is Krishna's plan that all these uh, fighting men. They were not uh, ruling properly according to the tenets of Vedic injunction. Therefore they are demons. Military strength for self-aggrandizement is demonic. Military strength is required to rule over the kingdom but not to misuse them for aggression to other's country or other kingdom. That was not allowed. <coughs> so when Krishna appeared, there were many kings, although they were under the uh, ruling of the Pandavas, still Hastinapu, still they were fighting. That is natural. If one has no Krishna consciousness, then his strength and opulence would be misused. And if one is 
Krishna concept, then he would use his strength and opulence very properly. So these kings were meant for giving protection to the citizens, to train them to the Vedic conception of life. But they are not doing that. Therefore they are demons. Although they are kshatriyas, still kshatriyas are meant for representing the Supreme Personality of God. Actually, Krishna is the proprietor. Sarva loka mahasaram. Sarva loka mahasaram. Sridam sarva bhutana. Vyatta maam shanti nichit. So, he is the proprietor. Sarva loka. Sarva loka means all the planets, all the universes. Because they are created by Krishna, by Krishna's bodily effulgence, Brahma beauty. So they are created by Krishna. Just like from the sun sign, these planets are created. Similarly, from Brahma Jyoti, innumerable universes are created. Jasya prabha prabhavatu jagadanda koti. Koti su asesa vasudhādi vibhūti bhinnam. Tad brahma niskalam anantam asesa bhūtam govindam ādi purisam. Tamaham vajā. So, it is all creation of Krishna. Aham sarvasya prabhava, mapta sarvam prabhata. Everything has come out from Krishna's body, external. Therefore he is the proprietor. If I have created something, then I am the proprietor. It is very easy to understand. The Veda is also to say, Eko Narayana Asi, before the creation, only there was Narayana. In the Chatusvaki Bhagavat also, it is said, Ahameva Asam Agri. So before creation, there was Krishna. When we speak of Krishna, it does not mean Krishna was alone. Krishna means uh, with his uh, form, with his pastime, with his paraphernalia, with his endurance, everything. When we speak of king, it does not mean king is alone. As soon as we speak of king, we must understand the king, king's kingdom, King secretaries, king ministers, king's queen, king palace, so many things. Similarly, when the Vedas say that Eka-Narayana uh, Asi, before creation there was only Narayana. Uh, so Narayana with his perfectly, with his expansion. Narayana has expansion in the spiritual world, Vaikuntha Java. Innumerable Vaikuntha planets. You have seen the picture. Innumerable. Uh, we have given only twenty-four names. But there are innumerable. So actually, either in this material world or in the spiritual world, all planets, Vaikuntha planets, or kuntha planets. Here in this material world, kuntha planets. Kuntha means anxiety. Here, in any planet you go, the anxiety will be there. This is material. Sadasamudrikna dhyam asad graha. Why anxiety? Because we have accepted something, also, which will not stay. But we are eternal, we want to stay. Our natural position is eternity. 
We don't want this temporary body. Therefore we try to save the body as much as possible. But it will not be said because we have accepted something nonsense which is not compatible with our existence. The modern civilization, they do not know it. Uh, they think it that death is natural sequence, it cannot be avoided. No, it can be avoided. It can be avoided. But there is that stress they do not know how to avoid it. Although it is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, how you can avoid death. Uh, birth, death, old age and disease, these are the problems. But they do not know how to solve these problems. They are simply engaged in some temporary business. Uh, and they are fighting, they are making plans, uh, they are making diplomacy, uh, hurry, but the real problem they do not touch. Neither of them know how to solve it. Uh, but this Krishna consciousness movement can solve it. Uh, these rascals may understand this fact that this Krishna consciousness movement is not a sentiment, so-called religious movement. It is scientific movement to solve all the problems of life. This is Krishna consciousness. So in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Tapta dehaṁ punat janma naiti māmiti. Punat janma naiti. If you can avoid next birth, next birth means to accept another material body. Tatha dehaṁtaraṁ prāpti. Tatha dehaṁtaraṁ prāpti. After giving up this body, you have to accept another body. These aspects they do not understand. So many defects in the modern civilization, full of ignorance, and still they are passing as great scientists, great philosophers, great politicians. Real knowledge they haven't got. So try to give them real knowledge. Tathadehantaram prati. This is the crucial point. The hantram prati. One has to accept another body. So if you can find out a means so that you do not accept another body, then you are safe. Because as soon as you accept another body, uh, janma, birth, then where there is janma, there is mithu, death also. And between janma and mithu, birth and death, there is disease and old age. So Krishna says that tattādi haṁ punar janmanai. One can avoid accepting another material body. How? Janma karma me dīvvam jujāna si tattat. Simply try to understand Krishna. What is Krishna? Why Krishna appears? Why Krishna takes part in politics? Why Krishna? So many Krishna's activities. So this is our Krishna consciousness movement means try to understand Krishna. So simply if you try to understand, you cannot understand Krishna fully, that is not possible. Krishna is unlimited. But to our limited knowledge, Whatever is possible, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. As far as we can understand about Krishna, if we simply understand Krishna, his transcendental nature, his transcendental activity, vibhvam, janma karma means vibhvam. Vibhvam means transcendental. It is not ordinary. Tattaka, uh, in truth, in fact, then you become free from this Janma Mithu Jarabhari. Very easy thing. Uh, therefore, uh, try to understand Krishna. Uh, how you will understand Krishna? Krishna is so great, 
श्रीमनमुखे ही विभाद स्वामी वस्फुरत्द अत श्रीकृष्णनामादि न भवे ग्राह्यम इंद्रिय यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण बाय दिस ब्लैंड मेटीरियल सेंसेस दे नॉट पॉस यू हैव टू फील फॉल यू हैव टू फील फॉल तत्परत्न निर्मलम simply by krishna consciousness all is thinking of krishna all your senses will be purified ah this is the shivana mukhi hi jivhag and you can begin service with your tongue now this is also very surprising by utilizing our tongue we can become perfect this is also unknown to the modern man when utilizing the tongue one can become perfect yes this is the process if by the tongue you chant hare krishna mantra and by the tongue you taste prasadam you will be perfect simply by executing these two things do not accept anything do not uh, allow the tongue to catch anything which is not offered to krishna this is one right and another right i am engage the tongue all is chanting hari krishna you become perfect is it very difficult task anyone can do hari krishna mahamantra anyone can chant and nice prasadam anyone can take And actually, it is happening so. How these European, American boys and girls, they are advancing, they are realizing simply by that process. Tongue, chant Hare Krishna, take prasad. So the, you can introduce this process all over the world. Give them chance to chant Hare Krishna mantra, but it is difficult also. Uh, there was a cartoon that one uh, one old lady is requesting her husband chant 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 and the husband is replying can't 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 <laughs> there was a cartoon so we are requesting everyone please chant and they are replying can't still they will not chant this is the difficulty Otherwise, we can deliver all the people on this earth back to home, back to God, simply by this process. Chant and take prasad. This so just like the other day, we held the festival, the Thayatra. Chant and take prasad. Organize this all over the world. They will be safe. We we understand Krishna. Even if he he do bad, so I'm Krishna will appear. Krishna, you cannot see Krishna. That is not possible. He you cannot uh, order Krishna. Please come and see. No. When he is pleased with your service, he will come. Yes, I am here. See. That is the history. Just like Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj. Uh, was meditating, and within six months he saw Krishna face to face. So everyone can see, everyone is able. Provided we utilize the tongue, seven mukhi hi jivado, jivado, jivado means beginning with the tongue. We have our senses, all senses, eyes, ears, touch. So many senses, but begin with the sense tongue. Try to control the tongue and engage in Krishna service. Then Bhakti Nath Thakur says, "Sarira abhidha jal jorendriya tahe kal." This body is a material body, and the senses are our greatest enemy. Jorendriya tahe kal. The out of all the senses, 
তার মধ্যে যুভা অতি লোভময় সুদূর মতি অফ অল দি সেন্সেস দি টাং ইজ ফর ইট ইজ সুদূর মতি ইট হ্যাজ নো লিমিট টু টেস্ট আই হ্যাভ সিন ইন জাপান টোয়েন্টি মাইলস হ্যাভে দে আর কামিং টু টেস্ট সাম ফ্রাইড বার্ডস ইন দি হোটেল in the they have got bus the hotel has got their own bus and they bring uh, customers from the city and they are coming after office hours just to test uh, some uh, jungle bars fried that is a hotel ha nee we got it did you have tested <laughs> so the tongue is so formidable and anyway. simply for tasting they will come in so many sinful activities uh, they will come in so many abominable action simply for tongue uh, there is a straight line tongue then belly then genital so if you can control the tongue the other things will come therefore তার মধ্যে জুহাবতি লোভময় সুদূর মত লোভময় ইট ইজ ভেরি গ্রিডি হ্যাঁ সুদূর মতি ইট ইজ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট টু কন্ট্রোল জিম্পলি ফর টাং সো মানি স্লাডার হাউসেস আর বিং আর সেম দোজ আর মি টিচার্স আর সেম ইন দি আর প্লেন ইজ মল পিস অফ মি ভেরি থিং নট ভেরি মাচ but for this small piece has so many population huge quantity of slaughter house we cannot give that small piece of meat that is difficult we can make uh, the same thing can be made by milk milk product uh, and chana what you call card uh, cheese you will prepare cheese and fry it you will get the same taste uh, but let the animal live take its milk and prepare so many milk preparation but this is just will not do it kill simply for this time uh, it is so strong this time they cannot give her uh, this uh, i mean the formidable time he is demanding he must give me me so they are obliged uh, and for this obligation they are committing so much sinful activities have all the activities and becoming bound up by the laws of nature to accept a body uh, within the 8 million 400000 species of life uh, becoming the worm in the stool they do not know how the material law is working prakriti kriyamana ani gunai karmani sarva Prakriti, nature is so strong, it is acting very nicely. So you have to become very careful. Uh, that carefulness, uh, you cannot go any other way, especially in this age. Simply if you surrender to Krishna, if you become Krishna conscious, Krishna will take care of you and he will be saved. Thank you. Thank you.